Well, hello there, and welcome to another Minecraft showcase. Um, this is probably going to be pretty short. I'm not going to go into detail on this build, but mostly I wanted to test out my new recording settings. I've changed OBS, which is my screen recorder software, so that it will output as an MP4 instead of an FLV, which hopefully should be higher quality to begin with. I've also changed some of the bitrate settings. So basically, let me know in the comments below if this ends up being higher quality than my usual videos for you. I hope it does. But I also needed some content, not just a test video. So this, I built this. And what is this? This is a binary full adder. And uh, what is a full adder? So when you add two binary numbers together, you can uh, add each bit as a half adder or a full adder. Now a half adder will add two bits together and produce a sum and a carry. And that's it. But the problem is, if you want to add multiple bits together, so like a 2-bit number or a 4-bit number or an entire 8-bit byte, um, you have to take the carry from the previous two bits and add that into the sum of the current two bits in order to get the correct number. In other words, if you think about it with normal base 10 numbers, normal numbers, when you do 1 plus 9, let's say, right? If you do 1 plus 9, you get 10, which is 0 carry the 1. But if you do 11 plus 9, you add the 1 and 9, you get 0 carry the 1, and then you have a 1 plus that carry of a 1. So you have to be able to add at least, or at most, 3 digits together, right? Because you might have 29 plus 11, and then you'd have to add the 2, the 1, and then the carried 1 to get 4, right? Um, so this is kind of the same thing. So a, a full addition circuit for binary numbers has to be able to add 3 bits together. So the, 1 bit from the first number, 1 bit from the second number, and potentially 1 bit carried over from the previous um, binary place that was added. And that's actually more complicated than it seems at first. So I've been working on it, and I was trying originally to take the usual implementation of logic gates that's used with actual binary adders in computers and just sort of re-implement that in Minecraft. And I was having a lot of trouble getting it into anything compact. And then I realized I could change the way I was thinking about it, and I'll show you that in a second. But basically, what you need to do is this and this come together to form a 3-bit XOR gate, which basically means if an odd number of these 3 bits is on, you get a 1. If an even number, or 0 counts as even, so if an even number or 0 of these bits is on, you get a 0. And the way I did that was just by combining two 2-bit two XOR gates, this one and this one. So I take bit 1, XOR bit 2, and then that result I XOR with the carry, and that gives me that. And that is the sum. So for example, 1, 1, 1, and 1, the sum should be 0 because 1 plus 1 in binary is 10, which is 0 carry the 1. Um, so stuff like that. Whereas if you have an odd number, then it should be a 1 because then you end up you know, it's every odd number. So if you have 1, 1, you get a 1. If you have 3 1s, you get 11, which is 1 carry the 1. If you have 5 1s, you get whatever that comes out to be. You can't have 5 1s because there's only 3. But you, you see my point, right? Every odd number of 1s gives you a sum of 1. And every even number of 1s gives you a sum of 0. So we just do that with these two XORs combined to create a 3-bit XOR to give us our sum. Now the carry is where it gets interesting because the actual implementation in computing for calculating this carry bit on a full adder is complicated. There are XORs and AND gates and all kinds of things all mixed together. Um, it's, it's not easy. And that's why I was having so much trouble designing it, until I realized, this is Minecraft. We don't have to do that. So what I did was I realized, you're going to have to carry a 1 if there are two or more 1s, right? 
that's the key thing that we're trying to figure out. How do we know whether from these three bits, two or three of them are one? So you can try to count them, but actually using an addition circuit for that becomes very large. Um, I tried that at one point. But then I realized you can do it like this. Now, um, if you saw one of my previous videos on uh, solid state gates, basically gates that don't use pistons or uh, torches, you'll recognize this as an AND gate. So this, the, each group of four, you know, two comparators, two repeaters, and a redstone block is an AND gate. And the one comparator pointing into the block is the output. So what I did was, by putting this in a circle, I was able to test whether, if, if we call this bit 1, and this bit 2, and that bit 3, we can test whether bit 1 and bit 2 is on, or bit 2 and bit 3 is on, or bit 1 and bit 3 is on. So if 2 or 3 of these bits are on, one of those combinations will be true. So we can test all of those by putting it in a circle, which allows us to put each bit in between the two AND gates that test that bit. Um, and then we can test for all three of those possible combinations in this compact little circle. And then by putting them all into the same block, if any of them uh, are outputting a 1, then our result is a 1. So in other words, this is this one block becomes its own OR gate. Um, and then I'm just using the torch so that I can transmit the signal upwards to get it out of the middle of the circle. So I transmit the signal up, then use the redstone to bring the signal out, and then another torch just because this one will have inverted the signal. So we do this to invert it back. So we get the same output from our, you know, complicated gates here, only all the way out here outside of the circle so that we can bring it where we need to. Um, so if you look, I have set up the lamps. So the one on the left there is the carry lamp that will turn on if there's a carry, and it will turn off if there's not. The one on the right is the sum lamp, which means it'll turn on when the sum is 1 and off when the sum is 0. So if we look, if we turn 1 on, let's get close enough to we get a sum of 1 and no carry, because this is 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. And that's true of any of these. And it works for all of them. So this is the carry bit. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is still 1. But now if we have two of them, 1 plus 1 is 10 in binary, which is a 0 in the sum and carry a 1. So if we turn these on, we get sum of 0 and a carry of 1. And that works for every combination of 2. And so to show you that, I can show you this last combination of 2. It is bit 1 and 2, but no carry. And you get 0 and 1. Uh, 1 carry, 0 sum. So that's great. And now the only way they'll both be on is if you have three ones, because one plus one plus one in binary is 11, which is one carry the one. So that's one carry the one. So yeah. And then these torch towers here are just to carry the signals from the inputs up to the XOR gates, because they need to be put into this complex, like, and or, I don't know what I want to call it. Um, I guess the carry detector. So it goes through the carry detector here, but then it also needs to come up to these XOR gates. Now I could have put these off to the side or something, but I wanted this to be as compact as possible, so I just carry the signal upwards with torches. Um, yeah, and so what's the use of this? Well, if instead of a lamp here, I just ran that carry into another copy of this as this third carry bit here. So if I took this off, and then in, I, I copied this whole thing off to the left there. And where that torch is, I mean, sorry, where that lever is, I instead just ran this line into it. I could have a two-bit adder that would add two bits together. Uh, or rather, it would add two two-bit numbers together. 
and the sum bits would be the correct binary representation of the output. But even more, I can just copy this as many times as I want that way and make as large of a full adder as I need. And I could add any length binary numbers together without changing the design at all, just copying this over. So the outputs, I could instead of going sideways, which I just did for visibility, I could put out the front, and then the front would have a row of lamps that would give you the correct binary representation of the value. Of, of the sum of the numbers. So if I had eight copies of this, I could add two bytes, two full bytes together, and have the correct carry out as well from the end, which is amazing. Now I'm sure, given the popularity of making computers in Minecraft with redstone, there have probably been smaller designs or whatever, but I'm proud of this because I did design it myself without any help from anything except for having seen this XOR gate design somewhere else before, but other than you know this one 2-bit XOR gate design, not the whole thing. Um, and the fact that it works, and, uh, and the fact that I had to come up with something for this carry detector that was different from just implementing the logic gates normally, I'm very proud of this. So yeah. So again, let me know if this video was any clearer than usual. I am not going to remove the noise. I also set up some noise cancellation in OBS itself. So I want to see how well that turns out. So I'm not going to edit any noise in post. This will be an unedited video. So let me know if this is clearer, if it's worse for you, if it's about the same, if the sound cuts out too much, if it doesn't cut out enough and there's a lot of noise. And just let me know what you think about the quality, and also, if you want to comment on this design, I would be very honored. Because I am really proud of coming up with this, after all this time, this simple little carry detector. Um, so yeah, until next time, keep adding your binary bits, keep redstoning. <laughs>